What's up, guys? Well, this, as it says in the title, may have been the most depressing weekend that I have experienced in a long, long time, I'll tell you. So, some of you think this is ridiculous, but um, it's my channel, so it's my place to vent. Those of you that have been watching the channel for any uh, period of time at all, you don't you have to just watch this video, you can tell I'm quite a fan. Quite a fan of these fellas, the, the, the Tennessee Titans. I've been a fan. That's a picture of their stadium back there. I'm going to point at. I've been a big fan for, I mean, since I was like six years old. So over, over 20 years, 22 years. And... This was like supposed to be potentially the year, you know. Now, some of you, you're, you're gonna watch this. You're gonna say, "Bro, it's it's a sport, it's it's a game, whatever." But like, when you're really a, a fan, like hardcore fan of of something, whether it be a band or a sports team or, or whatever, you you just get really invested. And this season for my Tennessee Titans, uh, my favorite football team, my favorite sports team, this was supposed to be like a special year. You know, you could feel it. They were first place. Every playoff game they were going to have was going to be at home. They had all the pieces there that, that you thought this could be a potential like Super Bowl team. High hopes. Fan base is as excited as it's been in the last 20 years. And then they went out Saturday in the playoffs and just lost. Laid an egg. I'm not taking anything away from the team that beat them. The Bengals, they're great. They deserve to be where they are. I'm not taking anything away from them. But you could just... Feel it in the air. Like, this is a special year. This is the team. And then they went out there Saturday, and they blew it. They just blew it. Turned the ball over three times. Defense did everything they needed to do, and then the offense couldn't get anything going. And you may think I'm being playful or joking here. Literally, literally had trouble going to sleep Saturday night because of this. Literally, I had trouble going to sleep. I tossed and turned and tossed and turned and tossed and turned and tossed and turned. Trying to make sense of how, because once you lose, I mean, it's over. It's over. They ain't going to play again until September. I mean, that's it. They're, they're just done. One minute you're thinking, like, this team could go to the Super Bowl. The next minute, they're done. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Ain't nothing I can do about it. You know, what? never nothing I can do about it. I just sit home and cheer louder. Sit home and cry is pretty much what it almost turned into. I don't know, man. I don't know. Just... After all that, after all those expectations, after all, just one game you're eliminated. Had the week off, by the way. They had a they 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 had performed so well. They got the week off to rest up for this game. Were as healthy as they'd been since like October. And they lost. So that's how my weekend went. Literally, couldn't hardly sleep Saturday night. Had to get up early Sunday morning to go to church. Just been in a bad mood. Just been in a bad mood. And before you comment and say, oh, you know, there's people that have it worse. and they, I know that, okay? I'm not trying to say that I'm, you know, my being upset over this is like on par with is some horrible thing happening. I'm not saying that. I'm not trying to compete here. I'm just saying. 
It was a depressing weekend. It was a depressing, awful, terrible weekend. So that's that's how it went for me. I need a place to vent. You guys were just the ones that get to hear it. Take it in, soak it up, bye.